I, I had to just get straight to it because if I don't get straight to it, it won't get done. Good morning, y'all. Well, let me not say good morning because I don't know what time you're watching this. Y'all might be a night watcher. Hi, y'all. Hello, everybody. Hey, sister. Nah. <laughs> if you know, you know. TikTok drama. Hey, y'all. Your girl is back. The bitch is back. I'm not going to be cursing. Serious this time. We're not even going to do a curse count. Let's do a curse count. I bet you it's going to be less than 10. Hey, y'all. Did y'all miss me? Y'all should have missed me because it has been two years. Two years since I made a video. Two years. Well, I made an introduction video like a week ago just to tell y'all that I was coming back. But since I really like did my thing on the YouTube, and even before then, it was spotty. It was spotty with me. But guess what? I'm back and the content is back. As y'all can see, I still have not learned. I'm still doing the same thing. I'm still not looking at the green dot. I'm looking over here. And when you transfer, it does not look good. So I'm going to try my best to look at the green dot. But then I can't really see myself, but whatever. I should have put a mirror like right behind the green dot. Then I still wouldn't be looking at the green dot. I'll be looking at the mirror and I would probably look even more crazy. But anyway, I'm back. Did y'all miss me? I missed y'all. Y'all. Life been life in. Life been life in. Life, life. I actually have a checklist and I'm going to go through the checklist and I'm going to do this appropriately y'all see what i'm using on my lips aquaphor you want to ask me why no more is nothing wrong with aquaphor it's actually a good little ointment number two i went to sephora like two weeks ago and i bought me not one two summer friday lip glosses and i can't find either one of them This is apple juice. It's 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sabado. For those of you who don't know, that means Saturday. But yeah, I bought me two Summer Friday lip glosses and I can't find them. And I refuse to believe I just lost them because I don't go nowhere from my house and they ain't in here. You know what I think happened? I think them kids are still in my stuff. I think somebody stole off my desk and I know, disgusted. But people nasty, what you want me to say? So yeah. But anyway, let's 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 go through the checklist. There's one, two, three, four, five, six things on the checklist. Should I do like Diera and put a no, she do like to do list. Maybe I'll put a thing here of the things that I want to talk about in the video. That's gonna be wellness, wins, losses, losses, losers, wins and losers, wins and losses, losses. Feelings, Queens first, and the next video. Here's our checklist. Hopefully, I remember to edit and put it in. <laughs> no, that wasn't even a real laugh, but still. Hopefully, I do remember. Actually, I'm going to edit this video as soon as I'm done. That's the point of me actually making it right now because I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. I've done so much. You would think I'd be one of them girls that do like 5 to 9 before my 9 to 5 and actually be productive, not me. What I was doing, I was watching Yellowstone. I watched The Neighborhood. Those are my two favorite shows right now. Well, Found is one of my favorite shows. Yellowstone is one of my favorite shows. The Neighborhood is my comfort show. But I was watching Fat. No, I didn't watch Found. I watched Found last night. I was watching Yellowstone. I watched The Neighborhood. I ate some leftovers, spaghetti, and meat sauce, and garlic bread. Yes, yes. Before 9 a.m. What else I did? That's it so far. I've just been lollygagging around, scrolling on the internet, doing nothing. But, oh well. And I was about to take a nap. But I said, no, let me get something done. So, truthfully, I recorded this video already on Thursday. But it was after work. And I feel like the energy wasn't really there. Like, it was a chill, calm vibe. But 
I just feel like I look like I've been at work all day. Now I look like I've been up for a couple of hours. That's what I'm giving. I threw some concealer on because I ain't want to come on here with the raccoon eyes that y'all are used to. But So let's get into the checklist because I don't want this video to be an hour long. Not for my comeback because y'all don't watch the whole video anyway. Let's, let's stop doing that, y'all. Let's stop not watching the whole video. Y'all don't want me to be rich. Y'all don't want me to be a TikTok girl. I mean, a TikTok. What is this? A YouTube girly. Y'all don't want me to get this money. Y'all don't want me to be happy. Come on. Come on. Y'all don't want the best version of me. And you know they say money don't buy happiness. It will. I, I got a little. I got a few things I can do with some money to make me happy. Let's let's try it out. Let's test it. Give me some money so we can see if it's gonna buy me some happiness. But anyway, wellness check. <sighs> I'm gonna say how I'm doing. I want y'all to get in the comments and tell me how y'all doing. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm a little overwhelmed, but I I rather be. I prefer to be overwhelmed than underwhelmed. I was feeling very underwhelmed for a minute, and now I feel like I'm feeling overwhelmed, which is okay for me because you know I'm gonna figure it out. What else? How's it? Up? Um, you know what? This is kind of getting into the feelings category. So can I check them both off at one time? Wellness and feelings. Here I go messing up. Deara don't do this. Her checklist be very precise. But anyway, I feel well. I feel okay. It was a little rocky. The other day I was feeling kind of sad and I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. We not, we not going back. Ain't that what, um, ain't that the, um, Kamala slogan, we not going back. <laughs> I don't know if that's a slogan, but I heard somebody say that at a rally or something lately. Child, I'm all over the place. But anyway, yes, I feel well. I feel okay. I feel, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. I feel like I need to focus on the good, on the blessings. I mean, and I don't mean focus on the good, like act like everything is okay. I mean like. A lot, a lot of things are okay. I just know what I need to do. I know what I need to do, and I'm willing to do what I need to do to, like, get back. But I feel all right. How y'all feeling? My hair's itching. I need to wash my hair. How y'all feel? Y'all see the hair, right? Because the last time y'all saw... Did I have hair? I might have had a weave. It might not have been this long. But y'all see, your girl is flourishing. Y'all remember. I'm going to put in a clip. Y'all remember this? We're not going back. Not this time. We're going we gonna to do it right. So, yeah, the hair is flourishing. I'm very happy. But very happy about that. Y'all see how far it is down the back? Look, I'm about to break my neck. Talking about y'all see how far it is down my back. But anyway. Yeah, that's, that's wellness check. Life is all right. Wellness check slash feelings. Life is all right. I'm feeling all right right now, today. Hopefully tomorrow too. Yesterday I was on the up and up and now I'm at the up. I'm not at the peak, but I'm up higher than I was. Wins. What's some things I've been winning at lately? I got an appointment, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all hear it echoing because I ain't got no couch yet and I need a rug in my living room. But I got an appointment. Y'all want an appointment tour? Because I could give y'all an appointment tour. I'm, I'm gonna wait till I get a couch. <laughs> Cause what I'm showing y'all, I'll be a liberal floor. But yes, I got an apartment. I'm happy about that. Let me tell y'all, I'm hiccups really. Anyway, I'm happy to be back in my own space. I'm very happy about that. And not not to downplay the space that I was in before at all, because. When I needed somewhere to be, somebody gave me somewhere to be. That somebody is shy, as we know. I was saying that shy house. Um, it wasn't the best place for me for many reasons because I wasn't able to do what I want when I wanted to. And I will, I'll get into that in another video if y'all want to hear about where I'm coming from. But I wasn't able to do what I want all the time when I wanted to. And also, it was a... Um, 
it was like a basement apartment. So I, I, I realized I need to see the sun every day. If I wake up some days and I'm just looking at the same four walls, I'm going back to sleep. And it was times where I would sleep for like days at a time. Don't let me be on no type of little vacation or nothing. End of the summer, anything like that where I didn't have to go to work. I was in bed. I did, I did time. I did three, four shifts at a time. I did doubles and triples in the bed. So, and my new place is like very high up and I have a very good view. Like I can literally see all the way to the airport. I could see, for some reason, every weekend they've been doing fireworks and like it's my favorite part of the weekend, like at night to see like the, and I'm not like M80s and all that other whack hood stuff. I mean like the big Macy's firework display. It's very far out, but like I can still see it and still enjoy it. And that like, just waking up every day to the sun shining in my face. I put my um, shades down right now, but usually I never put my shades down. It's always up. So the sun wakes me up. Well, I wake up before the sun most days, unfortunately. But when it does, the sun wakes me up. Like I literally see when like the sun goes down, I see the transition from like daylight to night. Like it's very quick. Don't miss it. I see the transition from daylight to night. And it's like, it makes me feel good. Like to see time moving, to not feel stagnant, to, to say, oh, I gotta get this done before this time and actually get everything done. It's amazing. I'm getting ring notifications. Yes, I have a ring. Let me tell you why I have a ring. Totally off topic, but actually on topic for apartments. So when I first moved in, right, I didn't have that much stuff. Well, when I first moved in, the smoke detector kept going off. And when the man gave me the key and he woke me upstairs and everything, he was like, oh, I got to come back and fix that. So I'm like, all right, what time you coming back? It's like 1130. I said, what time you coming back? He said, well, um, what he said? He'll be back by two o'clock or something like that. So I was like, all right, cool, because I got to go somewhere at three. He said, all right. He never came back. I called the office and I'm like, yeah, the man said he was coming back or whatever. They was like, do you give him permission to enter your apartment? So I said, yeah, sure, he could enter the apartment because at that point there's nothing in there anyway. So I'm like, yeah, sure, he could enter the apartment. Matter of fact, I did have a bag of stuff that I ordered from Target and I had it shipped to my job. And then when I left work, I just bought it with me. I had it shipped to my job that morning from Target Ship. So I had a bag of like cleaning supplies, sponges, Lysol wipes, stuff like that. So I come to the man, I leave or whatever. I guess the man came while I was gone. Did he even come while I was gone? Because I feel like, no, he didn't even come while I was gone because, so boom, all right, I'm, I'm messing up the story. Let me rewind. The man comes when I, when he came, when we came upstairs and he gave me the keys, the smoke detector kept going off like the battery was dying. So it was, yo, it was driving me insane. So I'm calling people like, yes, I'm in my new apartment and every, not even two minutes, it's beep, mad loud. I'm like, nah, this is stressing me out. So the man was supposed to be coming back. He didn't come back by the time that I left. So I called the management company, called like maintenance and was like, can y'all, what happened to the guy? He said he was coming, he never came. So they said, can he come in while I'm not here? I'm like, okay, cool. So I leave, I come back, the shit's still beeping. This like two days later, I'm like, what? I thought the man came to do it. But when I came back, I realized my sponges was missing. So I'm like, where's my sponges? Child had me thinking the man stole my sponges. But then I realized he never even came back. Immediate, well, this was before I realized he never came back. Immediately, I'm on Amazon. I'm like, I need a ring camera. Not the one on your door. I don't care what's going on in this hallway. And if anything do happen, I do not need no police officer detectives talking about they need my ring footage. No. I want the one that can see in my apartment and at least face the door so I know if somebody came in my apartment. So, ordered the ring camera, everything. While I get back to Shy House and the sponges is at his house, I never even bought them. God is working on me. I was losing it. God is working on me. But yes, that was my first little...
crazy though and today in my apartment that was really just me being delusional but yeah i've been living here a month i paid rent i mean i paid the first month's rent and deposit to move in but i paid rent for november already today's november 2nd and my rent is already paid my rent been paid since october 30th because jasmine is not playing with the rent and i've been in my house ever since so i went to work on the 30th i went to work on the 30th and the 31st every other day i've been in my house i ain't playing i'm getting that rent money worth that rent money is expensive this apartment is income based and that rent is expensive baby it's almost two g's very close if you round it it's two g's it's expensive baby i got that I, I i gotta get my money worth up in here but i love it so much that like i don't even mind i don't want to keep scratching my head i love it so much that i don't even mind i love it here what's another win i'm still in school winning closer and closer to graduation i think i have like a year and a half left and i only have that much time left because i go to school and my employer pays for it and they only pay for six credits per semester so although i'm going every semester i don't miss a semester i do fall spring and summer it's still only six credits a semester so that's six twelve eighteen a year where other people sometimes they do like four classes which is like 12 credits a semester but we getting there we getting there the getting is gone oh i gotta remember to submit my um credits for salary increase too i hope when i watch this video back i remember to do it this is a reminder what this is a reminder to me i need to submit credit so i can get some more money because baby i needs it i need to get paid um what else is going on what's another win I've been doing more at my job. I um, host orientations now. I love that um, every Monday and Friday for incoming students. It's so great because like I get to tell them what to expect. We have conversations. We have open conversations. They tell me their questions. I answer them. I tell them what's expected of them, what they can do. Like very encouraging to the students. Um, still making bulletin boards all over the school still doing graphics for the school every day. We have like a display TV every day. I make graphics for the TV. I love it. Like finally, I finally feel like um, I'm doing something at work, something useful and valuable instead of just like being a babysitter. I really love that for me. Um, what other wins? My hair's growing. I'm gonna plug that every time. Oh, and my YouTube is back. I'm back. So yeah, those are my wins. Losses, losses, losers, wins and losses. I don't really have none, except like my mood's been a little up and down. I wish I could say weight, put weight on a loss, but not yet. I'm trying to lose like 20, 25 pounds soon, real soon. Um, that's, it's good though that I can't think of any losses at the moment. I'm winning and I'm proud. Um, we already spoke feelings. Queens first. I'm very excited. Oh, I meant to say something in the wins, but I could bring it up now. I'm very excited to announce that I'm back. Um, my website has been down for like two months because I'm revamping, but I think I have like most of what I want figured out. I am launching a new book y'all know like how i did the address your crown workbook this book though is not for everybody this book is surround is especially for marijuana smokers which is crazy because guess what y'all i don't smoke no more i'm clean i'm three months sober i'm a little more than three months sober the end of july i quit but i'm a i'm a few days over three months sober and i'm happy believe it or not i don't even feel like the urge to get high or anything like that and let's make let me make this clear i'm not against marijuana i don't feel like oh now that i stopped everybody needs to stop no i'm still very pro marijuana like i'm i'm with it but i just felt like it wasn't doing anything for me at the moment i wasn't even like enjoying it it wasn't it was no longer satisfied 
I mean, satisfying. And as well, someone I know was laced. Someone I know was laced and I don't like how it made them act. And I was like, it scared everything out of me. I said, no, no baby. They was a little crazy already. So they ain't really had too much to look, never mind. But I didn't want to be laced. I was like, no, I'm working too hard. Things is going too good. I don't want to risk that and lose that over like somebody want to play with the weed and like hit me with some fancy. No. But it really like made me look at things differently. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a break. I'm gonna give it a break. And I, I didn't have like a great supplier where I could like get like top shelf good stuff all the time and I didn't want to risk it. So I quit and I'm okay with that, but I'm still putting out my marijuana book and it's gonna have, well, I'm working on providing a deluxe edition. Before I put it up, I'll probably have the deluxe edition available, but it's called Elevated Thoughts. It's basically a workbook surrounded of like pertaining to marijuana, but it's fun. It's like something to think about, about like, it's for people who enjoy smoking, not people who just get high, like to get high. It's for people who like enjoy smoking, who like see like the, I don't know how to explain it. I should know how to explain it if I'm putting out a book. But yeah, it just, it's, it's a cool little situation. I'll put in a few clips of a few pages, but it's cool. So I'm, that's already done. I'm putting that out. I'm looking for a vendor right now because I want to do merch again, but I want to do merch in a way that like, I don't have to, what is on me? On the way that like, I don't have to actually sit there and embroider hoodies and stuff like that because that does take time. I mean, I will do it if I have to. I might have to start doing it initially and then find a vendor just to like, you know, make up enough, make enough money to like outsource and buy it more. But I feel like it's more, it's easier for me if I get an outside vendor and it's like, I can have more product and more time. Like I want to, I want to make it more convenient for me. So yeah, I'm looking for a merch vendor. Um, Adjust Your Crown 2. It's going to be called Crown Adjustments. I'm working on that. It's like 60% done. It's going to be bigger and better than Adjust Your Crown, the first one. And Adjust Your Crown did have like a lot of good reviews and everything from the people who did buy it. If you still want to buy it, it will be up on my website. My website should be back up by December 1st. Just give me 30 days, y'all. A little, a little more than 30 days. But... I mean, a little less than 30 days, but give me time and I'll have that back up. Everything will be good. But like, I really want to go full force into my business now because number one, the rent, the bills got to get paid. And number two, like I got the time, even though I'm, I'm working and I'm in school, I do have, I can make time to like have a profitable business. And like I have, I'm sitting on so many ideas and different thoughts and everything. I don't know why I keep looking away. But I'm sitting on so many ideas and thoughts and I just want to put it into motion and have some motion. And I'm excited about that. I was thinking about doing like a woman's empower. I have, I actually have like a whole woman's empowerment conference like written out. I actually, of course I need to get funding for it, but I have a really good situation written out. And that will probably won't be until like next summer if that but i do want to get that off get that up and rolling get that on the board um besides that yeah that's what's going on with queens first um that's basically all i really had to say in this update video Done it. oh i wish i could show y'all my new baby i'm gonna show y'all her in the next video but she's at shy house right now She's with Iris. Y'all know Iris. Do y'all know Iris? Y'all know Iris. Y'all saw baby Iris. So, yeah, her Iris is still at Shaw House. Unfortunately, Iris is not going to come to my house because the building rules. And you know what? The building rules do state that you can only have one pet, one dog, and it has to be 15 pounds or less. Why the other day was I in the elevator with a pit bull? 
a big angry pit bull that was like jumping around and me was like oh he's just excited why the fuck is he excited to oh i was doing so good Yeah, I heard something. But I was doing so good. But why is this pit bull excited to see me? I ain't no dog. I ain't his kind. Why would he be excited to see me? I don't understand that, but he was doing a lot. And I was like, I thought they said 15 pounds or less. That dog had to be at least 60 pounds. He was a big, a big boy. And then Sha told me that he saw somebody with two little dogs. How y'all get two dogs? It's only supposed to be one. So Iris might be able to come visit. But the thing is, she's so loud. She, You can't walk past the door or nothing. She is loud. My other baby is very like calm and quiet. She's eight years old. I got her from somebody. I kind of like adopted her, you could say. But yeah, she could come. She can come. Iris, on the other hand, is going to have to be a visitor. And also, Iris is technically Shah's dog anyway. Remember, Sha bought Iris for his daughter for her birthday, and she just couldn't keep her. And you know what? I warned him. I said, Sha, you cannot buy a door for a house that you don't live in. As usual, he ain't listen to me, and guess what? Now Iris live with him. That's what you get. <laughs> you didn't think you would be a dog father, but you are. Yeah, that's what you get. But anyway, so yeah. Hopefully you'll see Iris and my baby. I'm not even gonna reveal her name yet, but y'all, you'll see them too in the next video. Hopefully, maybe. I mean, Iris is her home attendant, so she be spending a lot of time with her home attendant, and they seem very happy. I went when I do go over there. She don't even be happy to see me. Iris be happy to see me, but she be like, like, hey girl, what you doing back? You still around? It gives you still around? Oh, okay, hi. She don't be feeling me like that. She loves Shy though. And not because she been with Shy for the month that I've been here. No, she loves Shy when I was there. She don't give a damn about me. But whatever, I like her, she cool. Um, What else I wanna say? Let's talk about my next video. What should I do? I wanna do an apartment tour, I really, really do. I might just post the video that I took like when I first moved in and nothing was here. I might do like a so far because my bedroom is fully furnished not fully i do need a dresser but it's good where it's at for now my bathroom is done my bathroom don't need anything else um i have most of what i need for the kitchen the kitchen area is behind me but i'm not gonna show y'all that yet i have most of what i need for the kitchen and my grandmother just bought me a dining room table and chairs this is the chair that i'm sitting in y'all can't see too much but y'all will see it in the apartment video. I don't know if I want to do an apartment video or if I want to do a hair routine. Can y'all vote for me in the comments? Apartment video or hair routine? Do YouTube do polls yet? If they do polls, I'll put a poll. If not, apartment video or hair routine. Because my hair does need to be done. I'm going to record that. So I'm going to record both, but like, which one do you want to see next? Also, this is going to be the only like sit down chat video. I'm doing vlogs. I'm doing cooking with jazz. I'm doing story times. I'm back. Like I'm literally back. Everything that you want to see, I'm back. And y'all know, we, I ain't been here in two years. Y'all think I don't got a story time in two years? I got two years worth of story times, okay? Because life been life been like I said. I just thought of a good one too. Child. Just, you know what? Some of them I can't even say on this internet, but child, life been life been, life been life been. Yo, three of them. I just did three videos and two of them I cannot say on this internet. I might have to do um a subscriber tab on YouTube. I mean on um Instagram. What y'all think about that? I think what's the subscriber tab? What's the minimum amount? I think it's $2.99. Would y'all pay $2.99 to hear my stories? $2.99 a month, y'all. I'm good for that, right? Because let me tell y'all, tea, tea, tea is being spilled. I'm ready to spill it. I'm ready to spill tea, tell my story. I'm ready to get this off my chest. Because people got me stuck. And you see, I didn't curse. 
What's my curse count? One? I, I dropped the F-bomb one time. I think my curse count is at one and I'm at 30 minutes and actually I'm done. So when am I posting this video? It's, it's Saturday morning right now. Low key, I want to post it today, but who's watching YouTube videos on a Saturday? And if they are, they watching it right now. They're not going to be watching it all day. I can schedule it for some, for like midnight, but no, not even midnight. Because if people don't wake up and start watching YouTube until like 10 o'clock, then I'm going to have like two views in 10 hours. As opposed to if I post it at 8 o'clock, I can have two views in two hours, which is a little better for the algorithm, for the um analytics. So I might post it tomorrow at 8 a.m. That might be my my video post time Sundays at 8 a.m. Then you got all Sunday to watch it. You could watch it before church service because if you want to do my church, James United Methodist Church on YouTube, they start at 11. Good plug for the church. And I ain't missed a church service since I moved here. I'm four for four. Four for four? I might be three for three and tomorrow will be four for four. But I ain't missing no church. And I ain't missing no meals. No, <laughs> no but seriously, just want to let y'all know I'm back. I hope y'all watch to the end. If you watch to the end of the video, I want y'all to put Welcome Back Jasmine in the comments so I know that you watched it to the end of the video. If you didn't, KMA. Yeah. For those that stopped watching midway through or even in the beginning, KMA. And that does not count as a curse because I didn't say it. So, yeah. It's good to be back. I'm so happy to be back. I'm excited to get back on my YouTube-ish. I'm excited to do my thing, do my thing. I need to vlog because I need to do a whole lot of pampering. I had a lot going on and I have not pampered myself that much, so... A vlog is coming soon, too. But like I said, next videos will apartment stuff or hair routine. And I don't mean apartment tour. It's just going to be like talking about my apartment. I might show y'all a few clips, a few things, but it's not going to be a full tour. Apartment stuff or hair routine. See y'all later. Love y'all.